Let me see. Let's get. Let's see what you look like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, look at you. How come I keep cute. turning my head? I got, <laughs> I got a cat that does that. You, you're like an owl. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get the show on the road. Michael, you ready? Yeah, whenever you guys are. All right. So, hey, hey y'all, and welcome back to Rockstar Cartoonist, the podcast about rock stars and cartoonists and bass players. <laughs> and today we got a very special guest, Mike Ohl. Um, You guys have known each other for a long time, huh? We go way back. Yeah. I think Michael was just out of high school. You're like 18 years old and yeah, that's fresh right. faced little <laughs> kid from Laporte in the bindery department at the print shop we used to work together. Yeah. Yeah, arrow printing. We worked at Ink Spot, which Ink was Spot. part of arrow printing, but it was away from the boss. So, you know, we <laughs> yeah. we had lots of games set up uh, that when you came over we'd have two wheel two wheeler races. Remember those? Michael? Heard, I heard the stories. <laughs> Did oh. you guys have like some game where you try to kick field goals with, with paper towels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the bathroom door was the goal post, so people using the bathroom were always surprised when you scored. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh. So we got Mike, all the bass player, and Michael. Are you guys gonna do a song for us later? I think we're gonna play the blues, man. The blues, right on. All right. So today, um. Well, let me look at this. Okay, can I just interview Mike? Yeah, go ahead. All right, Mike, can I ask you some questions you about being a musician? Sure, sure. There are some kids who watch our show, and and they think, you know, when I grow up, I'm going to be playing a, in a rock and roll band. What's How come you chose to play the bass guitar instead of the guitar guitar? You know, it seemed like everybody wanted to play guitar guitar, but I wanted more kind of being the foundation and, and the, the base f for the song. And, and the drums and the bass kind of set the tone yeah. for all those fancy boys and girls with <laughs> guitars to, to, to fly like eagles, where we would hold down the, we'd hold down the fort and they'd always be thankful that we kept the, you know, the good beat and rhythm. And so I always loved the bass. Right on. Still do. Who was, who was like, like your first bass your first rock star hero that you can remember that would watching. be that'd be paul mccartney from the beatles yeah i saw him on ed sullivan first time they were on american tv and we we're all totally shocked by that oh, wow. the next day if you're old enough everybody went out and bought a guitar but <laughs> i was still in fourth grade so i had a few years to wait but i had an older brother that was a musician back in the iowa where i came from the state south of here and he was playing all the old stones and and uh, uh, you know the birds and all eight miles high, and I and he used to invite me to go along with them, and I'd sit there and control their lights for them, and and they oh, had this really? elaborate light setup where they had four switches on a board, and when you turned one, a light went on. So no, it wasn't really that uh, intricate, but I got to listen to them and see how much fun people had it at their gigs, and and it was so uh, so so much fun for me, so that when I was old enough. My folks bought me a bass and an amplifier. They were just going to buy me the bass because I knew how expensive they were. <laughs> I didn't expect them, but they went the whole route and had a little Vox bass amplifier, and it was like the greatest night of my life. And uh, wow. from how then, old were you? I was probably 13 years old. It was 1968, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a little band in, in eighth grade, and uh, we played for our classmates, and you know we we learned the songs and. And had a great time. We were too young to drive, so our folks used to drive us to the gigs. So our dads would, you know, have to spend some time with their kids, which was great. And oh, that's awesome! Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but we we got a call on line two. You should, should I pick it up? Yeah, go ahead. Um, caller, uh, welcome to the show. You're on the air with Mike O. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with the man with the wind? I was wrong to watch those damn ones. But I was wrong to watch the song. Oh, yeah? What, 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 what do you say to that, Mike? I'll try a little harder next time, Keith. Well, I was like, well, I thought, but can I slow my dog? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know, did you, he said, 
You're you breaking guys, up. Do you know how to play uh, Red? What's it called? Red oh, House. Oh, God, play play Red, Red House. House. Yeah. Keith wants to know if you'll play Red House. Jimi Hendrix yeah. used to play that song. I think it was written by Sun Ra. I'm not sure, though. I We could play it if, if yeah, you want. Yeah, let's try it, Mike. All right. Hey, everyone. This is Michael Lyons and Mike O playing Red House. This song goes out to Keith Richards. Oh, it's a long day. What was wrong? Send in some money, Keith. Come on. I was that song, but I don't. And then, like, I was like, oh, come on. Oh. You guys just about ready? Oh, yeah, hang on. I gotta grab my guitar here. And where did I put it? Oh, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take it away, boys. Okay, <laughs> let's do a uh, red house. <laughs> Watches the show every day, and we're doing a great job. 
Hey, thanks, Keith. Well, oh, it's all right. Like, you know, I was like, well done. <laughs> well, I better get rolling, huh? Okay. Well, you call in any time, Keith. Yeah, it's all right. I was all right. Wow. So, do you like uh, the Rolling Stones, Mike? Love the Rolling Stones, yeah. Yeah. Their, their songs are a little bit easier to play than the Beatles songs, I remember. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like any, like, new music? What do you think of, uh, you know, new... Do you like Justin Bieber? He's not on, on my playlist, but <laughs> no. I've got uh, I've got some newer stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I like all kinds of music. I mean, I, I even like old country songs, you know. They're such honest stories and stuff where if you were a musician in northern Minnesota, you had to play it all. You know, I spent most of my life being kind of closed-minded about country music and then a couple of years ago i don't know if it's because i'm getting older or what it seemed like every time i turned on the radio in the pickup it would end up on a country station and i'd end up crying over some country song <laughs> the, the, their storytelling it, it's like poetry oh you bet um yeah and and like i i grew up not listening to country so i don't know who these people are but I would think there's some really great country singers out there. You did that one song, didn't you, Michael, by um, Jason Isbell or something like that? Oh, yeah, Speed Trap Town. <laughs> yeah, Speed Trap Town. I like that song. I thought that was your song, Michael. No, I uh, I kind of redid it, but it, it, oh. it was a Jason Isbell. I mean, I stole all the lyrics and then put new chords on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Somebody couldn't be bothered to write new lyrics. <laughs> But, yeah, that's a beautiful song. Um, Michael, do you have a song that you got, you, you want to play with, with Mike O? Yeah, we can do a song. All right, you guys want to hear one more song? And then you guys going to go to the Country Kitchen? Yeah, you want to come with? Oh, yeah, I'd come with. Go down to Country Kitchen, get, 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 a, get a sandwich or something. Yeah. All right. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the rock star cartoonist and the bass player extraordinaire Mike O and what's his song called um let me think so um this is an A minor and or A minor 7 I don't know if that makes a difference and I wrote this song when I was in college and uh I had a girlfriend who cheated on me and told me about it one night when we had a dinner we had a, like a picnic um Oh, man. In, it was raining outside, and we had a picnic on the dining room floor. Wine, candles, and all that. Went out dancing in the rain. It sounds more romantic than it is, because rain is actually movie, freezing man. cold. Yeah. You can only dance for so long. Came in, and then uh, uh, she lied about this dude. She went up over on a Euro trip and had an affair with some bartender guy in Crete. And when she came back... I knew counts. something was up. Yeah, it counts. We've been dating for three years. Good thing that happened. You wouldn't have this song, man. Yeah, luckily, yeah. I didn't have to get married, and I got a song out of it. <laughs> so this is called "Will I Ever See You Again?" What's child support you're saying? <laughs> And 
I remember a night And the casual fight by candlelight As the room grew dim You lied to me when you talked about him But I remember your ways And you and me in a sad embrace And I remember a place where you pulled me close and you kissed my face Will I hide? Will I ever see you again? No, I don't think I'll ever see you again Will I hide? Will I ever see you again? No, I I'll ever see you again Oh, that was so beautiful! You're gonna make me cry! You're gonna make me cry on camera! <laughs> All right. down the bottom buddy yeah all right uh and so that was my song about jennifer <laughs> and back to you emily well thank you kindly dear will i ever see you again by michael and the rock star cartoonist michael lines mike oh it has been so lovely having you here today been oh. been a pleasure for me too. Thanks for having me. Yeah, would you come back sometime? I'd love to come back and show you my other art, my my drawings and paintings. And... Yeah, you're you're a painter and a drawer, and you used to didn't you teach art at this high school? Too? I taught taught art in elementary and high school for about twenty six years. So awesome. got a lot of stories we can talk about. Sometime. Okay, well until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Thank you so much for for watching Rockstar Cartoonist, the podcast about rock stars and cartoonists. My name is Emily. This is Mike Ole, and this is Michael Lyons. And I will see you again. They go on the man, me the <laughs> All right, that was pretty good, you guys. That was pretty good, fellas. How long was that? That was 18 minutes, 18.23. So this is like Photoshop, you're adding layers. So you're playing it back and you're adding sound and sound on top of this. So yeah. What program are you using? It's, it's called OBS. Yes. That's so cool. Watch this. This is our theme song. Oh, you can't hear it right now. So now I understand how you do it with all the layers. Yep. So it's just like, that's so crazy.